How's it going everybody? Odyssey64 here, back with another episode of the Splatoon 2 training arc here on the channel. This time we are going to be looking at the first of many ink brushes, the, the normal ink brush. The stats for the weapon and the gear I'll be using for the majority of these videos are on screen right now. And if you guys have been enjoying the content so far, leaving a like down below and subscribing to the channel would be very much so appreciated. Now this comes with a very offensive kit of Splat Bombs and Splashdown. So this will be a fun weapon to start using. Or, or at least using for a little bit. Before I get sick of having to mash all the time. But yeah, thankfully a lot of the kit, the kit that I would use for, um... The kit that I would use for, um... The kit that you would kind of use for rollers kind of applies to this, and I just fell. Oh well. Yeah, like, for ink brushes, you do want to have some ink resistance up. You also want to be jumping, and you gotta know how to mash. To get, like, the maximum use out of this weapon, you have to know how to mash. Which is kind of funny. Like, in order to get the maximum amount of damage, you need to know how to mash very well, so... Excuse me for not talking a bunch, because I need to concentrate. I should've just used the splashdown, honestly. And I was just barely out of range, too. There we go. Yeah, I mean... I know, um... Splashdown isn't necessarily considered good, but... I think it complements this kit very well. Like, you just get to kind of be annoying. And I ran out of ink. Oh well. Well, we pushed them all the way to Danger Zone, so no matter what they did within the last three seconds, we were going to win, so GG's. But yeah, I honestly don't really like the ink brush, mainly because I do have to mash a bunch. So, there is that. But I mean, hey. I'm, I was doing pretty well. Yeah, I just prefer not to mash. I mean, there are but I mean, there are like turbo controllers that allow you to um kind of cheat a little bit when it comes to um mashing, but we're not using that here. It's been a while since I've posted a like legitimate video. Well, I mean, every video is legitimate, but, like, it's been a while since I've posted, like, a new, uh, weapons video because I took a break for, like, three days and then posted, like, the all, um, rollers, like, video. So it's kind of been a while, and I've been working on, like, a longer, like, a longer, like, more edited video recently. Like, I'm still trying to get the script done for it. Like, it's basically like how, it's basically like a, a guide for more aggressive players that I thought would be um, fun and interesting and maybe even helpful for, um, for me to post because I know I'm not the only aggressive player in Splatoon. 
as you guys clearly saw there. Oh, respawn Punisher. But yeah. I'm definitely not the only aggressive player in Splatoon history, so um, I thought posting a guide that may help other aggressive players out when it comes to um, just playing Splatoon in general. Yeah. So, um... I definitely think that having a... Like, sort of like a recommendations guide for aggressive players would be very helpful. So... But let me know if you guys do indeed want to see that, because I won't finish it if you guys want to see- if you guys don't want to see it. Hi- Re- Hydra Splatling with Respawn Punisher. That is very interesting. Oh yeah, it has Splashdown too. I- I just remembered. Yeah, no. Ooh, I have armor now. Fun. Aw. I should've just did the splashdown the second I hit him, honestly. Ink armor's kinda of fun on Ink Brush, because then you can just, like, run around and not really care about getting attacked. Alright, so I'm gonna super jump, and then I'm just gonna do splashdown. Alright, that undercover umbrella is getting on my nerves. And so is that Hydra. <laughs> With its respawn punisher. This is going to end up being really close. Yeah, that under yeah, that person mains undercover clearly. Because I don't really know how to use that. Hey, last push armor possibly? Yeah, I really don't like mashing with this. I'm not sure if we made it back or if we lost. I'm pretty sure we lost. Yeah. GG's. Good fight. Yeah, that Hydra Splatling was insane. Yeah, the ink brush doesn't have a lot of range, but it does deal it deals it doesn't deal that much damage, but it is very fast. So, it's kind of like the ink brush version of the carbon roller. Towards it's like it's really fast and it has like a fast kill time, but the only difference is that at least with the carbon roller, you only have to press the button like maybe about 3 times, whereas like ink brush you have to you, you have to literally mash it, so it can be kind of annoying, but if you like to mash, then uh, Ink Brush is the right weapon for you. I mean, I used to use Ink Brush in Splatoon 1, so, and that was kind of fun. Though I do kind of wish I could play Splatoon 1 again, because we ended up getting rid of it because we thought our, uh, Wii U pad, like, stopped working. So, that wasn't that wasn't necessarily fun. You guys can probably hear me mashing through the, uh... You guys can probably hear me mashing through the mic, and for that I apologize. That's just... That's just how this weapon be. Surprise! 
Okay. That was definitely a uh, call an ambulance but not for me thing. All right. Bro, these gear sets are, are crazy. Gonna throw some bombs around. Right. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, nice baller. All right, goodbye. Oh. I can't believe I ran out of ink. I hate that so much. I can't believe I ran out of ink. I should've just did the splashdown. I'm just gonna hide behind this. Yeah. Bamboozler 14, Mark 3. Yeah, it was worth a try. Oh well. GG's. Wow, another around 50%. Alright, so what do you think of the ink brush? It's alright if you can actually control the area, but if and if you like mashing. But but if not, then you should probably go over this weapon. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, definitely make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Airing that notification bell so you don't miss another episode of the Splatoon 2 training arc when those episodes air on the channel. I have been Odyssey64, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. How's it going, everybody? Odyssey64 here, back with this Splatoon 2 training arc here on the channel. And this time we're going to be looking at the Inkbrush Noval, but this time I actually have a guest with me today. I have my cousin Jaden over here. Hello. Hopefully they'll actually be able to hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, the volume is right. So, um, yes, today we are going to be looking at the Inkbrush Noval that has the Ink Finds and Baller, and the stats for the weapon and the gear I'll be using for the majority for this video are on screen right now, and if you guys have been enjoying the content, leaving a like down below and subscribing to the channel would be very much so appreciated. And with that being said, well, that's fun. Oh, oh, that's someone else, okay. So, Jane, what weapon are you actually using right New now? New Squiffer, man. Oh, okay. Going uh, back <laughs> to my Squiffer days. <laughs> Ramadan. Wonderful. Like Basha? <laughs> I mean, someone on, on my team is just named Ramanoff, so... Yeah, I saw that in the Come here, boy! No! <laughs> Alright. Oh, Where did I'm... you even come from? I came from behind. Well, yeah, I know, but like, where from behind? Alright. Aw. Oh. <laughs> I was just gonna start, like... <laughs> Just flexing. Oh, and we're definitely losing, and we have someone AFK. That's great. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is gonna be a bad match for you. I mean, you, I mean, long-lasting viewers of the Splatoon 2 training arc know that usually these matches don't go very well. Yeah. Especially with me on this team. Oh, no. Hmm. 
Come here. No, it's stop. Oh, look Ooh. at that. We were somehow able to push back in a crazy and uneventful way. What is this? The freaking Splatoon manga? Yeah. Goggles? Bro, I need to get more of those. I so far have six or seven. Uh. Stop oh, look, eating. Oh, look at you using bottom. the goo tuber. I can't believe people. I can't believe someone's actually using the goo tuber. That's crazy. No. What? Why? Someone on your team's using the goo tuber. I hate that. Oh my goodness! I'm getting outranged by the goo tuber. That's not fun. <laughs> Goodbye. Charger battle. Oh. 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 Nope. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, that was so bad. <laughs> All right. Now, did we win somehow? Absolutely not. <laughs> Imagine if we did. I mean, we somehow have your spawn. Oh, we're so good. Alright, even with someone basically AFK. <laughs> One splat. <laughs> Alrighty, so... When it comes to Inkbrush Noval, I'm not really sure about it, if I'm being completely honest. Can you remind me of the kid? Uh, it's Ink Mine and Baller. Oh. Baller isn't as good as it used to be, but... It, it's okay, I guess. Um. Alright, so... Oh, the last one we have for normal ink brush is permanent ink brush, which has sprinkler. Uh, but at least it has a good points for special for ink armor. And then we have the octa brushes. So this I feel is, bad for you, because I know how, how much, like, how you hate sprinkler. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Though the funny part is though, is that with Splatoon 3 coming out basically when school starts again with the next school year, I'll have plenty of time to finish the Splatoon 2 training arc and maybe do live streams of this game, so that'll be great. Yeah. You gotta include me as one though. <laughs> I mean, it's just unfortunate that uh, I'm pretty sure the, da the date for uh, Splatoon 3 is what Xenoblade Chronicles 3's release date was. <laughs> Dang. Like, I'm... Very certain. It would be my first live stream on your channel. You know, the best videos on this channel are my videos, the cousin videos. Yeah. Everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> the ones but, that you're in, obviously, are your favorite. Yeah, of course. I but mean, please, please, I'm begging you, do not view the Fortnite cousin videos. <laughs> I mean. I mean, those are buried, very, very deep into the archives. My, yeah. My viewers will probably have to do a lot of digging. Please do not watch. I mean, you can watch those if you want, but they're not good. Yeah, they're horrible. I sound like a two-year-old. <laughs> Alright, come here, Flingza. Ah, got him. Ooh, range. Oh, come on. We got another person who's like AFK. Uh -huh. Over. Well, we won last time with someone at the start going AFK. Is it the same person? No. Oh my gosh. It wasn't even you who got me. I it know. It was the blaster. Tentabrella has... I, I, did, I for completely forgot that Tentabrella had a... What had a bubble blower. Why does Tentabrella actually have a good kit, though? Like... Oh my goodness, the 52. LOL. Look at that main saver, holy moly. Your teammate's got a cracked Tentabrella player. And Tentabrella is like such the meme weapon. Hockey? Like, Taki is in the chip, or Taki is in the FNF mod? <laughs> oh my goodness. You should do an FNF video on the channel. I, I want to, but I want to, but again, a lot of the things that I'm waiting to do, I just need my computer for. 
fair. Oh my goodness! Flings a ruler out of nowhere. And Matthew, oh great. Oh come on, bro. <laughs> Get flings a roller. Bro, flings a roller is so good. Oh, and that was a whole team wipe too, dang. Well, to the front lines I go. <laughs> I just saw the booyah thing show up on my screen for like a split second. And then I'm assuming the guy died. Possibly. Did you kill any people that had booyah bomb? Um, I don't... Oh, the Kenza 52? No. I, I may have, but I'm not sure. Oh, I got the tense missiles off. That's all that matters. Ah. I don't think I'm winning. No, definitely not. Bro, Inkbrush seems to do really good for come for comeback situations, honestly. Just because of how fast it is. Yeah, imagine that with last ditch effort. Last ditch effort doesn't even last ditch effort is more like savers. Like it doesn't give you like any speed or anything. I know. That's probably why I prefer opening. I mean, I mean, the savers allow you to throw like suction bombs and like a miniature suction bomb rush. It's crazy. I know. I, I mean, I personally prefer opening Gambit. Um, watch Matthew's video on why it's good. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's more not necessarily why it's good. It's more so why it's not bad. Yeah, not bad, good, tomato, tomato. Yeah. Because, like, Last Ditch Effort is definitely better, apparently, especially for, like, rank, because, like, it's, like, with ranked battle, it's, like, after, like, when, like, the opponent counter reaches, like, 50 on, like, an objective, that, you can literally get the stats for, like, the rest of the game. It's so, it's so crazy. That's why, um, he shreds in... Rainmaker. Yeah, because the first 30 seconds, half the time, are like, all that matter. Oh, look, we're on the same team. Oh, dang. Oh, great. We have a mini splatling kit. No, that's not even mini splatling. Wait, is it? That's a heavy splatling remix. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. I knew it was a remix, but I didn't know if it was mini or heavy. Yeah, that's a Sheldon's pick. Sheesh, man got money. <laughs> <laughs> Setting up pink armor. I can't believe that the baller does not get the splashdown damage. Like, uh, like the thing about it is like the one thing I don't like about baller is how inconsistent its explosion, explosive radius is. Like sometimes it'll like hit like above or like slightly below, and then other times it'll just like not like do anything. Yeah. Right now I'm using um, a weapon which is actually the most viewed weapon in the training arc series. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, bro. I don't know why Spottershot Jr. did so well. I don't know. It was like, probably because it was like the first video I posted in like a long time. But also, and I, I'm I'm watching you guys. I, I know the uh I, I know what uh YouTube shows me. You guys definitely like when I have an octoling in the thumbnail in some way. Yeah, because Octoling supremacy. But you know. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. We're not, we're not bringing racism into. Uh... <laughs> racism. <laughs> we're not, not on my channel. It's fine if you. It's. I'm not having any. I'm not having any movements here. I respect Inkling players as much as I do Octoling players because, well. I, I respect Aqualink players because they took the time and effort to do the whole expansion pass. This but charger I also is not players being because the Inklings um, are, you know, a respectable cephalopod race, I guess you could say. <laughs> this charger is not having <laughs> Why? Okay, I, I, I might have to I'm, view the footage. I'm just online. I'm just bullying I was just bullying this charger. Oh, right, I see. You're I, using Splatter right. Shot Junior. Alright, I just, I deserve, I deserve that death on the Hydra. Red glare. What kind of use for uh, me? I got you, Holmes Lies Dog. 
Bro. I was about to say, if that fall off damage was actually working. Well, we're definitely not winning this one. The one is so good. You should do a, um, a tutorial video on how to bomb strafe. Oh, sub strafing? Yeah, sub strafing. You, you can find sub strafing tutorials like everywhere. There aren't that many videos explaining why opening Gambit is good, which is why I did that. Well, yeah, so watch this video. <laughs> Yep, so that's unfortunate, but hey, I got I got some pretty good images for um, the ink brush of all. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And ring that notification bell so you don't miss another episode of the Splatoon 2 training arc when those episodes air on the channel. I have been Odyssey64, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye. How's it going everybody? Odyssey64 here, back with another episode of the Splatoon 2 training arc here on the channel after about a week of not uploading. Sorry about that, um... School kind of got in the way, but anyways, this time we are going to be looking at the permanent ink brush. The stats for the weapon and the gear I'll be using for the majority of these videos are on screen right now. If you guys have been enjoying the content so far, leaving a like down below and subscribing to the channel would be very much so appreciated. Now, this weapon has the um the ink armor and the sprinkler so it's definitely not my favorite set i mean at least i felt with noval i actually had some fun with it this is definitely a supportive kit and you know me i don't really like supportive kits that much all right so we are 100 percent blocked off from that I'm just gonna go this way. All right, so we've been holding our own very well so far. I did not get a single splat, which is unfortunate. I want to put the sprinkler here. Alright, so clearly for ink brush, you want your sensitivity turned all the way up. Alright, so I got one. Oh, inkjet duel. Sweet. Why are there so many curling but Oh, there's double arrow spray. That explains it. I was wondering, I was like, why are there so many, like, curling bomb launchers? There's only, like, one- there's literally only one weapon in the game with that. I think. I'm pretty sure that the Aerospray PG- well, not the PG, the Aerospray, uh, MG is the only one with the, uh, curling bomb rush. Which is kind of funny. Oh wow, look how much the tables have turned in our favor. I'm gonna keep my eye on like this top spot. Oh, uh, GG. <laughs> Alrighty, so not a great performance. I think I only had one splat that whole game. But I think the ink armor definitely did a lot for the team. Which means if I'm being completely honest, I probably should have used the other set that I used that has like the special charge up main. And they had a rage quit. Alright, so we got two splats, so not bad. Well, I mean, it's actually very bad. But, I mean, as you guys saw from the picture that I took of, um, this weapon, I don't play this weapon at all. I have, like, only, like, 470 points of turf inked on it. Well, at least before I did this video, so. Yeah, I don't really use this weapon much. And This is actually the last of the normal ink brushes. We'll be going on to Octo Brushes next. 
which is another set of three. And that's basically it for ink brushes. Ink, yeah, ink brushes is really short. With only six weapons, I hope uh, in Splatoon 3 we get a couple more of each weapon variety. I think it would definitely be easier also if uh, you could, like, you didn't have to um, have a completely separate weapon for a scope. It, like, if it just came with a scope, and then you could choose whether or not to scope or unscope it. I mean, not in match, but like, uh, like before match, you could, there'd be just like a button or something like X or something. And you could choose like scope or unscoped, which I think would be really cool because I mean like, the specials are like the exact, like the sub and special on like the scoped and unscoped variants are like the exact same. I mean, I'm talking about chargers right now, so uh, sorry if you guys are a little bit confused. I'm talking about like the sniper weapons, the chargers, which will be after the, uh, after all the ink brush and octo brushes. So, um, yeah, so scoped and unscoped, I kind of wish that there's only like one variant of like charger in e to where like you don't have to uh, buy two separate weapons for it to be scoped or unscoped. Because I mean, I prefer unscoped. I mean, there's some of the, there's some special people out there who uh, use scope chargers and I could never use that as cool as I thought it was. So yeah, and we cannot find anyone for whatever reason, which is great. So how are you guys doing today? Um, I, I oh, great, someone left. Okay, so we got more people joining, that's good. So, um, yeah, so how are you guys doing today? I'm doing great, actually. Um, I just got, I just got home from school. Did, uh, took three quizzes, no homework, let's go. Definitely plan on uploading a bunch over the weekend, hopefully, if I don't get sidetracked by doing absolutely nothing. Um, what else? I mean, I mean, well, I mean, I may play like a different game on the channel or I may just do some fun like Splatoon, like I'm planning on doing like a Splatoon 3 video soon as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it right after this one or not, but, um, there, it'll basically just be like, uh, the type of kits that I would love to see for certain for my favorite weapons in Splatoon 2 so um I'll have I actually no no I'm not gonna promise that hopefully I'll have like a uh white card at the top right corner like directing you to that video but I may end up forgetting so don't count on that it may actually be it may actually be there and if so good job future me Alrighty, that took forever. Oh my goodness. Filling this in with some random banter. Now let's get some gameplay, right? We gotta, we gotta crank out as much Splatoon 2 as possible before Splatoon 3. Okay, so... Three arrow sprays. Man, I can't wait until I get my new computer and I start live streaming for you guys. Because live streaming this game is going to be so fun. Alright, I'm just gonna... Okay, so that is really annoying. <laughs> It'd be really funny if I just like ran like past them like the whole time. I said like, they seem to forget that, that you could shoot your weapon while doing a bomb rush. There we go. That's one splat. Yeah, I think this weapon's goal should be just be building the special at this point. Yeah. Oh well. 
Not for me, but for others. Oh, get out of here. That curling bomb rush is getting on my nerves. At least I'm kind of like holding the fort down. There we go. I'm getting armor so much. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at using the brush. Literally all I'm doing is just holding down the spot. I'm not advancing or anything. And I'm just building up and I'm just building up my special. That's all I'm doing. Alright, I finally died. Oh my goodness. Ugh, that's not how I like to play this game. I was playing so passive. I couldn't I could literally not move anywhere. I and I don't know why you would decide to advance towards the ink brush, but okay. Um so we definitely lost. Yeah, we definitely lost after I was expertly holding down that field. I'm guessing I got like five specials. Like, that's what I'm guessing. I think I've got like five ink armors. <clears throat> Four ink armors, seven splats, yep. And someone like disconnected. That's great. Oh my goodness. Hold on, what's the points for special for this weapon? Like, actually. One eighty. That's 190, 190, 180, 200, 180, 170, 200, 220. Oh my goodness. So this is on the, so this is like on the lower side of points for special, which is very interesting. That would explain why I was getting so many armors, and yet we, like, still couldn't do anything. Maybe I should try practicing, like, using the armors, like, at least trying to pay more attention to, like, the top left corner of my screen. Alright, so we got the double arrow spray now. But I should focus more attention on, like, the top left of my screen to see, like, when people are dead and when people are, like, actually, like, in the- on the field. So that way I know when to use armor. Or at least when like my ink tank is running low, I should just use my armor. Oh, that was the ink storm. Look at you. Someone's trying to super jump. Bro, that curling bomb launcher is nasty. That's so annoying. No wonder why it's only on like one weapon. I'm just gonna... Oh, I'm out of ink. Yeah, that was real. Well, we got him. And that curling bomb launch is gonna paint for like five people. I don't really want to super jump to that. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was so funny. Alright, no point in really super jumping. That was the first Tenta Missiles I like saw throughout this entire play session. 
Alright, there we go. Bro, this is painful. There we go. Dang. Okay, buddy. Out, just simply outranged by Squiffer. There we go. Everything's going good. Ooh, sis. Alright, not gonna lie, I did really good that game. Oh, look at that at, at our back. Oh, wow, only by 0.9. That was actually really close. Nine splats, three specials. Zero splats, dude, come on. You throwing or something? <laughs> All right, but anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoyed, definitely make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Area that notification bell so you not miss another episode of the Splatoon 2 training arc when those episodes are on the channel. I've been Odyssey64, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. How's it going everybody? Odyssey64 here, back with another episode of the Splatoon 2 training arc here on the channel. This time we're going to be looking at the first of three Octo Brushes, the normal Octo Brush. The stats for the weapon and the gear I'll actually be using for this video. Hey guys, look, it's gear that I haven't used at all in this the entirety of the Splatoon 2 training arc. So, um, yeah, I'll be using this gear specifically because, um, I think Quick Respawn and, um, Haunt are pretty good for an Octo Brush, or at least that's what I think. So, um, yeah, the stats for the weapon and the gear I was using was on screen, and if you guys have been enjoying the content so far, leaving a like down below and subscribe to the channel would be very much so appreciated. Now, um... Octobrush has um, the inkjet and the uh, auto bomb, and um, I'm not the greatest with inkjet, but also take let's take Octobrush into consideration here that um, it's going to have a uh, suction bomb and zip caster in the next Splatoon game, and I'm really excited for that. Now, I'm already liking this a lot more than the ink brush because you don't have to press, like, the button as much. So, um, yeah, I'm already liking it a lot more since I don't have to press the uh, button as much as I used to. And it also does more damage, and it has more range, so... I definitely like it. Also, this won't be the- this won't be the first time I actually changed gear sets for, um... The, uh, Octobrush, because I think there's about- I think there's, like, one more that I'm going to be, uh, using for, uh... I think there's one, yeah, there's one more set, which I think is the, uh, I don't remember what Octo Brush it is, I'll, ch I'll check it later, but, um, yeah, and that one has, uh, Tenta Missiles, and one more sub weapon, okay. Alright, GG. <laughs> Alright, so, so far we're doing really good. I'm being completely honest here. I actually kind of think uh, going, getting Kelp Dome for uh, the Octobrush is a good choice, considering the fact that you can go on crates, not on crates, on like the grates, like above. But I don't think this version of it is that good though, because you're kind of limited in movement behind under the the uh, grates with the inkjet. 
So you kind of have to just like swim and then just like pop out and start flying. So, um, it's alright. This is probably my favorite set though. I actually really like this one. One with like the inkjet and the uh, auto bomb. I'm not really good with inkjet that much, but auto bomb is um, it's a fun little special. I think so. Really quickly, the next one we're gonna be yeah. So the inkbrush and oval. So um, I got a a completely different set for that one too. I like, but I'll just give you guys a hint for it. It has. I'll give you guys a hint. Um, I'm gonna try and get the uh, beacon cost down a little bit, so it's gonna have quite a bit of um, sub saver, which will be really cool. Wow, we only have one person who has a star level today. I mean, I'm recording this at like around like 11:46 or so. Um, so most of, now I'm thinking, I think most people around my age would probably, or younger so would probably be around, but, oh, what happened to the TV, oh boy. Don't worry guys, I'm still able to, uh, I'm still able to play a second, just, uh, give me a quick second as I change it back, uh, alright, we're good. Sorry about the, actually, I'm pretty sure you guys still been able to I'm not sure I'll I'll play back the recording I'm not sure if uh, you guys will were able to hear the uh, oh goodbye <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys were actually able to hear, hear the game at all or anything but um, probably not considering how this uh, mic and setup works like I have to make sure that the sound of the game is being recorded through the mic as well which can be a little bit annoying sometimes and I don't necessarily know how to change it, but it is what it is. Okay. I also for, kind of forgot that, uh... Oh my goodness, bro. Just a little bit more damage than I could have got it. Ooh, respawn punisher. Yeah, so considering that the, uh... TV store just, like, went dark there, uh... But don't worry, everything's good now. Yeah, I'm liking this the uh, Octo Brush range and damage a lot more than the Ink Brush. Like it's so much more satisfying, honestly, instead of just rapidly mashing. Though I think it would probably be better if I had some more Ink Resistance. Because the Octo Brush doesn't, um, it doesn't work the same as, uh, the Ink Brush. Because the Ink Brush you get, like, I, f I forget what it was. Like, there was a patch that came out a while ago for this game where Ink Brush, like, didn't receive damage when you're going through enemy territory with, like, while you're holding down, like, the trigger button, the ZR trigger like this I'm doing right here, but Octobrush doesn't have that for some reason. Maybe they'll get it in the third game, I'm not sure, but um, but yeah, I'm really liking the Octobrush like a lot more. Like it just feels so much more satisfying to use. Oh my goodness. Let's go. You know, I'm gonna save that clip for later. Yeah, that was really good. That was re that was a really good game, despite our little hiccup at the start. Eleven splats. Oh my goodness. Should I play Octobrush in Splatoon 3? Oh my goodness. I think the Ink Saver main definitely helps out a lot with this weapon. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. My parents came back with some food and I decided to eat and I realized that the rotation changed. So, uh, 
We got Schellendorf Institute and New Albacore Hotel. Schellendorf is all right. And I think New Albacore Hotel is, um, like, it was pain with the ink brush, considering how, since it's a very range-like heavy stage, whereas, um... With the Octo Brush, we have a little bit more range, so I can actually move around and actually do stuff. Because if you guys do remember from my uh, Ink Brush video when we went to New Albacore Hotel, I couldn't go. I couldn't do anything. The only thing I could do was like just go around and ink turf, and I could get like no splats at all. But at least now, I think I'll be able to. Oh my. If that charger sniped me, I was about to go crazy. Ooh, armor. Thanks. Oh, I'm out of ink. Hey, the armor saved me. Let's go. Alright, goodbye, arrow spray. You will be missed. Aw. Honestly, if I used my inkjet in the air, that would have actually been insane. Alrighty. I actually kind of like Haunt on an Octor brush. It's kind of funny. Also, if you guys are wondering why I'm, like, diving in the air, it's actually a technique you, you have to do sometimes to survive with the, uh... To survive with the inkjet from, like, getting, like, shot by, like, a charger. It's kind of like this... I'll say, I'll show you guys how to do it in a quick second. If you guys are seeing this, because I ended up recording an, an extra match and it ended up... Like, there was some mess, mishaps with the recording. Alright. Goodbye. Alright, so basically what you do is that you shoot and then you and then you just press the swim button. Oh, that was a nice shot. Yeah, it's very easy to do, but really helpful. Like, it'll improve your inkjet game so... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, it'll improve your inkjet game by a lot. Oh, that's just unfortunate. Man, I'm loving playing the ink brush. Should, should I use this in Splatoon 3? Oh, I'm Oh, I'm not dead. I'm still <laughs> I'm still alive. Oh my goodness. That was a good match. Man, I can't wait to use the rest of these ink br the the rest of these octo brushes. Excuse me, but yeah, should I play octo brush in Splatoon three? I don't know. Maybe I'll use this like a secondary. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Twelve splats too. Well, that's gonna be it for this episode of the Splatoon two training arc. If you guys enjoyed, definitely make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And ring that notification bell so you don't miss another episode of this training arc when those episodes air on the channel. I've been Odyssey64, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. How's it going, everybody? Odyssey64 here, back with another episode of the Splatoon 2 training arc here on the channel. This time we are going to be looking at the Octobrush Noval. The stats for the weapon and the gear I'll be using for this video are on screen right now. And if you guys have been enjoying the content so far, leaving a like down below and subscribing to the channel would be very much so appreciated. Now, as you guys are have seen from the uh, Fate Contacts item, I actually completely decide to scrub it and try and go for a, uh, a pure special charge up uh, headgear, which is going to be very hard to do. But, and I thought, well, since I'm going to be using a weapon that prides off of um, getting a bunch of Tenta Missiles, as any Tenta Missiles weapon does, 
I might as well just use it for this video. I was originally going to use a different um, headgear item, but I was like, hey, why not? We're playing we're playing Octobrush, let's do it. And let's just say I'm having a blast, <laughs> a blast playing Octobrush. I'm actually going to save that clip, that was kind of funny. But yeah, I'm having a blast playing Octobrush. Like, it's not as fast as Inkbrush, but the damage and range is just so much better. So it's like the trade-offs are practically non-existent. Alright, so he's going in there. Alright. Yeah, and then, um, so it has beacon, like the squid beacon, so I have mixed feelings about that. Which is why I'm running, um, ink sa like a near-pure ink saver sub-weapon. So, um, yeah, so that, yeah, so, um, Ink Saver Sub is just trying to, uh, mitigate as much, um, ink consumption from the, uh, beacons as possible. Bro, it's like... It's like having a roller that has slightly less range, but it's like faster. It's so nice. I may actually use this in Splatoon 3. Like, maybe just like the normal Octo Brush or something, because I'm having a blast playing this weapon. Alright, so I need to go deal with this. Ah uh, yes, cornered. That's what we like to see. Oh. Let's go. We dominated this match. Uh, let's get one more. That was so good. Like, we literally pushed them to their spawn and they couldn't move on. I'm gonna guess like 12 splats. Yeah, that was really good. 11. Nice. Alright, please. One roulette of another special charge. You know what? That's actually not bad. I'm not necessarily running a... I'll say, if I get another... Um, like, if I get a special charge up... For like these next ones, I think I may keep it. Like having a pure special charge up may be kind of nice, but I think having special saber will also be really beneficial. Yeah. So where would I put this one compared to the octo rushes so far? Um, ten to missiles is like the most valuable special in the game right now, but not having like a uh, like any type of bomb whatsoever is kind of annoying. Whereas the other one is definitely like more up in the opponent's face, which is what an ink brush is supposed to do. Three, three uh, end zaps, wow. But so yeah, I, de I, I would put this one below the normal octo brush, but let me know what you guys think. Cause remember, I, we still have a lot of time before uh, I before Splatoon 3 comes out and when I decide to put out the tier list. Oh, I got someone. I'm getting a lot of people with these Tenet Missiles lately. Alright, so I'm just kind of playing like a jerk now. Ooh, assist. I'm gonna put a beacon right there. Alright, so much for that. Ah. Uh, if I had a little bit more quick super jump, I'm 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 I think I'm wearing the wrong uh I think I'm wearing the wrong shoes if I wanted a quick super jump. 
Yeah, I want uh, yeah, I want to use the knee rock wing boots. If I knew where he was, I definitely think I could have gotten the two. Oh well. Hey, Squid Beacon is actually helpful. Or at least I body blocked. And this is also why I just recently completed a set of um, quick respawn. But it doesn't necessarily work unless uh, you get a splat, so I would have still respawned normally. But yeah, I'm. Re yeah, considering how much time I started devoting to like building gear sets, I'm really hoping that in the next game we'll be able to carry over the gear sets that we made. I mean, it would give, like, sure it would give, like, veteran players, like, an advantage, but I feel like I don't necessarily see a reason why you wouldn't be able to. Unless, like, you're putting, like, everyone on, like, the same level. Oh, I forgot I had drop roller on these shoes. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of, uh, ink saver. Alright, so, um... I'm gonna go with this person. We're gonna try and, uh. Man, Octobrush is so good. I actually think we may have won that. There's a good chance. Alright, let's go. Yep, so pretty good game. I'm actually I'm actually really impressed with how I'm doing with the Octo Brush. It's honestly really fun to use. Also, for the next I'm just gonna say for the next couple of um episodes of this training arc, I will be using the fake context because I wanna try and get this uh I'm gonna try and get this uh gear thing done, because like because right now I'm either looking for another special charge up that I have right neck, right above my level. I just, I, um, had a drink in the game, which allows me to, um, it, it boosts the experience you get when you're leveling up equipment. And it gives you a higher chance of, um, getting the, the ability you chose. However, which is probably... A, a problem with this is the fact that like since uh, the fake contexts are the oh and a DC that's rough so um since the uh, the brand of the drink is I think it's called like Takaroka or something and I'm using a Tentatech um, brand it's not the chances aren't going to be as high as if I was using a uh, Tent a uh, Takaroka brand gear thing. So I think that's just a basic rundown of like the rate, the percent chances for uh, getting specific equip, getting specific equi equipment abilities. I cannot talk right now, but um, yeah. So that's about it. I have quite, I have quite a bit of gear actually that I'm very proud of that have like a unique, that have like a main ability and then like three subs, which honestly may be what I decide to go for in Splatoon 3 most of the time. Because I find like having like a whole pure set of something, pe I mean, Nintendo keeps saying you get like diminishing abilities, whatever that means, but I keep seeing people do it anyways. So I'm kind of torn whether or not, so I'm kind of doing like a middle ground. Like, I kind of want to go for, like, all of, like, the same main ability, but, like, well, not, well, all the same sub ability, but, like, one main that's different. Alright, you're gonna come, yep. Easy. Alright, let's get these out of here. Man, Tenta Missiles on an Octobrush is actually crazy. I can't wait until Zipcaster is a uh, part of it. All 
Alright, so, um, it's kind of unfortunate they had a DC. But I am not letting them gain any ground at all. I'm gonna wait. Alright, there we go. I got one. I got two. Alright. This is really unfortunate for them, honestly. But I'm 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 legitimately thinking about picking up Octobrush. It's such a fun weapon to use. Alright, let's get another. Or not. Alrighty, GG's. That was really good. Alright, too bad too bad they had the DC, but oh well. Five eleven splats, oh my goodness. I may actually use this weapon more in the future. But that's going to be it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoyed, definitely make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Ring that notification bell so you do not miss another episode of the Splatoon 2 training arc when those episodes air on the channel. I'm an Odyssey 64 and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. How's it going everybody? Odyssey64 here, back with another episode of the Splatoon 2 training arc here on the channel. This time we're going to be looking at the final Octobrush in the game, the Kenza Octobrush. The stats of the weapon in the gear I'll be using for this video are on screen right now. And if you guys have been enjoying the content so far, leaving a like down below and subscribing to the channel would be very much so appreciated. Now, this is a really good kit for Octobrush. I mean, we're already getting the, uh, we're already getting the suction bomb as, um, part of the kit, so that's gonna be great. And then we have the, uh, the stamp hammer, which I don't necessarily know how to use to its maximum effect, but it is really cool, and hopefully I'll be able to use it all right. Also, it is really nice seeing all the Splatoon of 3 artwork in the plaza and stuff. Whoa. <laughs> that was actually a really good spawn camp. Wow, that was really good. Alrighty. Oh, there's an ink brush. I didn't see that. I also just realized that they have a uh, GooTuber on their team, which is very interesting. You don't see GooTubers all that often. Oh. Those charges are kind of locking me down, though. It's kind of annoying. This is honestly one of the downsides of the ink brush, is the fact that it is a lot slower than... I mean, this is one of the downsides of the Octo brush, because it's not as fast as the ink brush. So you can kind of be caught a lot more often. Get back here. Of course. Oh. 
I mean, I did a pretty good attempt at trying to get Turf back, but it doesn't seem like that really worked out very well. Oh well. Yeah, alright match. I kind of wish I was able to use the Stamp Hammer a little bit better. Camping that spawn, though, was that super jump was kind of funny. But yeah, first time in a while for me actually changing sets entirely. Oh yeah, and I'm also going to get my last ability. If it's special charge up, I'm, I'm keeping that. Like, I'd love to have a pure a pure uh, headgear of special charge up, but that does not seem like it's going to be the case at all. But yeah, if it is, then I may just do salmon run and get the chunks for it. Or just, you know, scrub gear I, like, never touch anymore and just do that. Because I've been actually scrubbing my gear a lot recently. So if you guys don't know, scrubbing your gear basically means that you take all the abilities off for a, uh, for a very expensive price. And then you get the ability chunks, which you can use to uh, add to weapons. Sadly, though, I'm pretty sure you only get one chunk. So what you would have to do is you would have to... Uh, you would have to, uh, like, scrub, like, if you wanted, like, 30 chunks of, a uh, special saver, you would literally have to, uh, oh, you're dead, sorry. What you would literally have to do is you would have to, uh, scrub and get, like, 30, um, chunks of, um, of special saver, which can be really annoying. Alright. Hey, I live. Let's go. But yeah, I'm actually really... I've actually really enjoyed playing Octobrush. <laughs> I got him with the suction bomb. Let's go. To be honest, I should have used my armor with Ink Saber. Or at least, like, the sub of Ink Saber. Swim speed is nice, though. Oh, I want- <laughs> let's go, I actually did get him with the hammer. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna look after this spot to see if, what kind of brave soul decides to come down here. This is called sharking, ladies and gentlemen. But it seems like our team is losing without me helping. Why is no one else coming over here? It's such a good spot. Aw. Uh. Alright, so we got the assist there, which is good. I just have a bit more range. I'm out. Or not. Man, I love Splash Omatic. That weapon is so good. Aw, uh, perhaps if I threw the suction bomb, like, at my feet. This one's really close. Alright. I think we won that. Yeah, the last second clutch of the, uh, capturing the center, the center spot of the map. Let's 50% flat. That was really good. Seven splats too, nice. All right, let's see. Hey, I'll take it. That's so good. I'll take it. 
All I need to do is get the rest of the ability chunks, and then I can have a full, pure, special charge up headgear. That's so good. Man, I really hope we can carry gear over into Splatoon 3. Because spending so much time, like, trying to build these gear sets is very, very... It's a very long and arduous process, so... When you get it, it is very, very satisfying. Alrighty, so last match, unironically at Inkblot Art Academy. Got a nice, well-rounded team over here. Alright, now let's get this now let's get the second win. But yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed playing Octobrush. It's so fun. It's not painful, and it and I feel like it just does everything better. Besides speed. I'm out. Oh, look at you trying to be slick. Oh, and he still got me. I said he tried to fall shot me, which is I respect the attempt, but. Oh my goodness. I said someone decided someone decided to look at GooTuber and was like, I want to main this weapon. Which I mean, props to you, it's not really great, but, um, I don't know what this silly way to go. Alright. Okay, things are not looking very good. I'm like, practically the, the last one alive. So what if I just go in here with the hammer? Wow, that's really good. And that's why people say that Stamp Hammer is a Splatoon 3 special, is because like it has good counterplay. You can just go around it. So if a Stamp Hammer is ever giving you trouble, just go around it. It works. Alright, I'm just gonna go down here. I'm just gonna, like, do this. If I got someone, that would've been really funny. There we go. I mean, we seem to be doing good on a comeback of some sorts. I think me staying alive actually helped out a lot with that. Oh, they got armor now. What if I just wait for the armor to run out? Yeah, we ended up losing that. Dang, that was really good. Like, we had it for a little bit, we were almost getting some ground, and then we ended up slipping up. Wow, almost another 50% too. Well, that's unfortunate. Three spots though too. Oh well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for this episode of the Splatoon 2 training arc today. If you guys enjoyed, definitely make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And ring that notification bell so you not miss another episode of the Splatoon 2 training arc when those episodes air on the channel. I've been Odyssey64, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. <laughs>